Red, Aussie, registered. My tail is not done. You know, some towns and places are harder to leave than others. Duncannon was so nice to me. Um, so I'm a little bit sad to leave it. I, uh, I feel like if I stay here for a zero, I'll get caught in the, what we would call the town vortex, <laughs> which basically means you just stay here forever. <laughs> um, why was it so nice? Well, you know, the, the hostel was pretty good where I stayed. It was comfortable, had a shower, all the rest of it. Went to the laundromat and the ministry of a church there was just so happens that you're for two free hours of washing a month and I happened to walk in on the one hour for the or one of the two hours for this month so got my washing done for free <laughs> and um, and then I went with Becklaw and Mimbuddy to the Doyle pub where there was live music that was cool and um, an amazing food so yeah it was just nice and then I went to goodies for breakfast this morning and resupplied at the local mini mart so yeah I don't know I've just had a pretty nice day here and I don't really want to leave um I spoke to my family yesterday and they're wanting to rendezvous at Delaware Water Gap Sunday week which would mean that I can take it easy now no massive days if I don't want to normally it'll probably be about 40 to 60 miles ahead of us by then. Technically, I could probably catch Nomi if he's gonna slow down and do that or because he's coming off the trail this weekend and next weekend. It's nice to not have to panic and run and know that I'll see them again because I miss them so much. I kind of want to hike at the moment with Moon Buddy and Bear Claw, but they've done a 21 out of town, which <clears throat> I'm leaving at like 11, so. I don't think I've got 21 miles in me after 11 o'clock today, especially after my big meals. Um, so maybe I would just go 16 today. Might catch them tomorrow. Maybe, maybe not. But actually there's some nice people around this area. So, hey, see ya. It's not a bad view up here. Um, the climb out of Duncannon was not that hard, but it was kind of pissy. It's really poorly marked and there's lots of blow down, so. You know, it just kind of makes everything a little bit more labor intensive and it's laziness, I think. It'd be nice to see them clear their blade down. Some of them look like they've been there years. Uh, just another one of these electric towers that I kept telling you about that we keep walking under. Um, not sure how far I'm gonna go today. Maybe only 11 miles, 11, 16 miles. Um, there's campsites at both. I'm really not feeling it, if I'm honest with you. Um, I don't know why. Some days you're having a good day and other days you just, you just don't have it. <laughs> Today I don't have it. I might take a break. See ya. Thank you. Hey buddy. <laughs> day. So I was really excited to see my first so one. Cute. So cute. So this is the first time I've come across one of these and I'm not going to be able to film it all the way but uh, this is apparently a beaver dam <laughs> and uh, so there's a dry root and a wet root you can see all the water and stuff there or the bog um, but because it's been dry and it hasn't rained for a couple of days I'm giving it a try the dry the wet root um, so yeah we'll see I apparently just need to get to that big log in the middle and it'll be home free, but I'm gonna pack you away because I don't trust myself. <laughs> See ya. Ah, I made it. I do have one slightly boggy shoe. Hopefully you can see that. Uh, that's not too bad. Um, I do have replacement socks, so if they're too stinky, I can always change them. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's my Last test, I think, in terms of exclamation marks for the next state or so. Um, but yeah, I wasn't feeling very well yesterday after my 30. I'm not achy in terms of um, 
muscles or anything, or yes, in terms of muscles, but moth flu. Um, I feel like I can't really buy a health trick lately, but I was, um, yeah, fevery. I'm still a little fevery, but I think I'm over the worst of it. Uh, achy, snotty. I actually felt very similar to when I had COVID last year when I got that in Disneyland. Um, so yay, I avoided the shelters, trying to like be nice and not spread it to other people. Went to bed at 6 a.m., took some cold and flu, or oh, 6 p.m., <laughs> got some cold and flu and um, hoped that I would just feel better in the morning. And if I'm honest, I didn't feel great this morning, but slowly I've walked into the day. So I'm about 20 miles in. Because I only did 11 yesterday, I feel like I need to make up some time, but I'm not gonna push it too much today. So maybe 22, 24, so yeah, I'm gonna stop in the next two to four miles. I'm gonna actually stealth camp by myself, which is a little bit scary for me, but hopefully it'll be okay. See ya. Welcome, welcome to the Swatara Bridge. so far hasn't been too bad. I suspect that it's going to get really bad in the next week but at the moment it may actually be my favorite state. I mean they could put one or two more swings in and then they guarantee it but I think that they're going to put one more one or two rock rivers in instead. Ah nice so I guess this is the moment that you know that you have hit the start of the PA rocks. <laughs> Holy shit, there's just one blaze there, one blaze over there and like good luck to you to find your path in between. Um, oh well, hopefully I left my sign itself plenty of time and I've got a really open, um, open agenda on what I'm hoping to achieve today. So I was going for like a high 20s day but with this amount of rocks maybe not although as you can see whoo, I'm moving okay on them because they're bigger they're not the awful ones that roll your ankles they're just less slabs so yeah wish me luck I've got another week of this <laughs> see ya this is a view from the top of the ridge that I'll be walking today and a little bit of tomorrow it's like a 35 mile ridge what I find really funny and sad all at the same time is somebody has graffitied all of the rocks around here and while that is sad in the comments on far out they say muggles have destroyed the rocks with uh graffiti i quite like the idea of like using the word muggles to offend people that have done this so i might pick that up yeah so here i am at the 1200 mark. You know what the 1200 mark means? It means that I have less than a thousand miles to go, which is pretty cool. Three digits, 998. Oh, I'm so happy about that. This day has turned into a bit of a rock nightmare, <laughs> um, but I'll be interested to see how many miles I can get from a day like today. Um, how much is it slowing me down? I have no idea. I wanted to get high 20s today so that I can have a short day into Walmart resupply tomorrow and then um, out again, um, but we'll see. Yeah, 1200 miles. 1200 miles. Yes, bye. Probably one of the nicest spots to sink your feet. It's so cold. <laughs> the rocks have actually started getting quite bad today, so. I uh, thought I better soak them. It's weird though, they're ouchy in ways that are not related to my previous injuries. They're just twisted and you know, your Achilles are a little sore and the sides of your feet are a little bit sore. Um, so hopefully they'll be okay. I thought it was really entertaining that Biz, who had rolled his ankle going into the roller coaster as well, he actually just finished Pennsylvania yesterday. And he said his ankle wasn't any worse. Good. Well done, Biz. Huh. No explanation about this. Kind of a little creepy. Lovely overlook. 
I'm on a really tight timeline so I can't go too far. It's a bit blurry anyway. Look at these wonderful rocks that we have to climb. It's amazing, love them. So I made it to Port Clinton, old company's Lehigh. Seriously old around here. It's pretty, there's not much to do or see. Um, that hill was awful coming down there. Glad it's over. More of Port Clinton. Probably there's not much here. There's like a peanut shop, which is weird to me that they advertise a peanut shop. Apparently it's got sweets and things like that in there. Or candy, if you like. I'm actually not gonna go in there um, because there isn't much there. It's just a waste of my time. Um, like if I could have resupplied there, I would. Um, there's no hotels or hostels. So sorry, no. Video? Yep. So just leaving Cracker Jack now. <laughs> Cracker Jack. <laughs> with Bob, who I met at Amaclala Lodge on day one or day zero. Day zero. Day zero. Yeah. Um, he will try to hike this year, but he's going to get back on and successfully hike again next year. And uh, he just bought me breakfast and ran me to Walmart and back. So what a hero. Massive thank you. Oh, you're well. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Howdy folks, so I've just climbed Pulpit Rock, um, I'm carrying so much extra water because there's no water up here for like 7-8 miles and it's a really hot day so carrying about 3 litres of water, actually probably more um, and this rocky edge was a big climb, I'm sweating so much under the chin, <laughs> yummy, um, so this is the view on the top of Pulpit Rock. I think I meant to actually, so this is Pulpit Rock itself. Apparently there's meant to be snakes up here, lots of them, copperheads. But as you can see, it's overcast. So I'm hoping, given that there's not much sun around, I'm in a better mood. Oh my God, I'm even sweating. Ugh. I'm really looking forward to a shower tomorrow. So I've actually made it past my target for today, which was the shelter at the bottom of this hill. I needed to make 20 miles tomorrow to a hostel, lookout hostel that I'm going to stay at. Um, and I figure every extra mile I do now will, look, <laughs> I'm such a classy girl, just got leaves in my hair. Um, every extra mile I do now would just mean that tomorrow is extra short. And you know what? I really love a Nero. I haven't had a Nero since I've been back from the UK. So, oh my God, having a Nero would be amazing. So I'm hoping to walk to like maybe 13 miles, 12, 13 miles from the place. And well, I did 10 miles before 9.30 this morning. So, you know, if I rock up there sometime late morning tomorrow, I've got the whole afternoon to put my feet up, have a shower, brush out my tangled webs, um, do my washing. I'm really low on power at the moment, so I can do that as well. So, can't wait. But yeah, because I've resupplied today with Bob and carrying extra water, I've got a heavy, heavy backpack at the moment. But I think I've got one minor hill on this ridge line and then a massive downhill. And then I hopefully I won't have to carry much water up the next uphill. Bye. I mean, this is the path. Mmm, smooth, very smooth. So this is the pinnacle. I don't know the pinnacle of what? Pinnacle of the mountain? Pinnacle of my day? Sadly not. Um, pinnacle of Pennsylvania? No idea. All right, I will put a rock on the pinnacle. I can find one or are they all on the pinnacle uh, okay I'm putting a rock on the pinnacle I think you get to wish for something and if it is 
I'm gonna wish for the health of my friend Lorraine, who's going under the knife for cancer tomorrow. So, thinking of you, buddy. I hope you're doing well. Bye. So my buddy Tumbles told me that I couldn't miss the view from the pinnacles. So it's a blue blaze. So I did it. <laughs> Hello, PA. Hey. I am stealth camping tonight. I'm only 2.6 miles away from a luxury shelter, but I didn't realize I was going to be that close. So I got here, I took off my shoes, and then I was just like, should I, shouldn't I? Well, blame on God, he decided to encourage me to stealth camp, which I'm always a little nervous to do by myself. Like, I don't know, just safety in numbers sort of thing. But that's my tent. You can see it's a beautiful view out here. It's really peaceful. Birds are chirping. I am still on the path, so a couple of people have walked past, which has freaked me out a little bit. Uh, one of them I knew, so that was kind of fine, but the other one was like a guy on a bike with crazy eyes, and he was afraid that I was going to be angry at him for being on a bike on the Appalachian Trail, uh, which I couldn't give a crap about. Um, anyway, so I hope all goes well tonight, um, and I'll see you in the morning. Bye. This is Dan's pulpit. Hell of a climb for today, but my only climb for today. So, yay, good to have it out of the way. And less than 10 miles to the hostel. I'm not at all sweaty, let me show you. Yeah, not at all sweaty. Mmm. It's so funny. So warm. <laughs> it doesn't look good. It looks really hazy, but it's quite warm. Good morning. So I've just left the Lookout Hostel with Yard Cell. Stay there, it's really good. Uh, it's like a little vortex also though in it, so it's really hard to leave. Um, so just walked a couple of miles, walked past Moon Bunny and uh, Beko who are stealth camping. So I might camp with them tonight so that I don't have to stealth camp by myself. Um, and I've just come to this really cute lookout, but I wanted to show it to you because Oh, he's got chairs, like little rock chairs. Isn't that cool? Um, so yeah, they I do like it. Like the trail maintainers in some parts pay extra good attention and it's quite obvious that in this part they are paying more attention. Um, so actually one of the sections I hacked yesterday, Pennsylvania Appalachian Trail Club, awful. Doesn't look like they'd cleared a blue down since like 82. Um, but the error in here, it's got like signs saying this is maintained by, I'm really sorry, to the A Allentown Appalachian Trail Club. So Allentown, well done. It's lovely path so far, well blazed, and yeah, you've done all these little things like create seats, rock seats. That's so cute. So well done to you guys. I hope that this section's going to continue like that because I really appreciate it. Um, anyway. So only about 20 miles today. So we're aiming for sort of 20 miles today, somewhere around 20, 20, sort of two tomorrow. And then that should take us to the last shelter before Delaware Water Gap. Heading into Delaware Water Gap this weekend, having a near on Friday, zero on Saturday, going to a jazz bar on Friday night with a whole lot of hikers. Um, and yeah, really looking forward to being able to chill and hopefully this will be my last couple of days without the tramway because hopefully I'll see the tramway again shortly. Yes! Can't wait. See ya. This is the path. I've already seen snakes. It's kind of like just a little disconcerting because you're like either I'm going to fall or I'm going to get bitten by a snake. <laughs> ah. Actually like you do sit here going I'm by myself here. If something bad happened, how long is it going to be till somebody helps me? So I'm still in Northern PA, Pennsylvania, and I wanted to show people that actually, as much as I focus on rocks and everyone focuses on rocks in Northern PA, there's also some beautiful areas of just flat paths, winding through trees, 
you know, very gentle on the foot. And actually from every section of rock, there's at least one or two of these. So people will freak out about how tough PA is because of the rocks. But actually, so far, <laughs> it's probably one of my favorite states. I think you can kind of see it by the smile on my face in some of these videos. But um, yeah, I just wanted to actually take a picture of this because like even going into the hostel yesterday, there was five miles of just these types of windy paths, nice and wide, um, not too sort of strenuous or anything like that. They do exist. Don't think that it's just nothing but a boulder field. Um, want to tell all the hikers potentially out there. And if I give PA pretty high rating in my state rankings tomorrow, this is why. Um, I found the boulder fields actually pretty flat. I, I know I've got the worst ones to come, so maybe I need to reserve judgment, but the big boulders have been fine. Where I have massive amounts of problems is when you see the path here. Sometimes we end up with areas where Tumbles calls it firestone. You can't actually put your foot flat anywhere and you're constantly like putting pressure on your ankles. I hate that the most. Um, so it's just like pebbly or sharp little jagged corners and edges and things like that. Sometimes you've got medium sized rocks as well that aren't so great. But yeah, the big boulders that PA is known for, a lot of the time they're flat, so they're not so bad. The reason I gave Marilyn a bad rating was their boulders were mid-sized like basketballs and I couldn't get my feet on them properly and I constantly twisted my ankles so badly. So we'll see if uh, PA continues with the big flat boulder fields <laughs> uh, and drops from probably I'm going to say number two behind Virginia at the moment uh, to, to last or second last. Yeah but at the moment I'm liking this state. People are fabulous shelters are amazing there were swings <laughs> the valleys are beautiful like the river crossings and stuff are lovely so yeah and it hasn't rained on me so <laughs> you know i know that there's still uh today and tomorrow so possibly i'll get rained on then but that's not forecast so <laughs> yeah i really like pa so far um and tomorrow's my last full day of hiking it so, yay just wanted to give everyone an update bye this is one side of Easy Bake Knob. Pictures up here are really not coming out properly. Looks a bit foggy. Is what I call Firestone. Awful, 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 awful. This is kind of funny. Bear activity is high. Please use caution and carry out food and trash. Oh my God, I see one. into Delaware Water Gap. You can see some water down there. I don't know if that's the actual water. I suspect that there's probably several rivers coming together. It's getting really warm as I walk down the hill. Um, I think I've got about two miles to go. Very excited. So this means the end of PA rocks um, and maybe the start of New Jersey rocks or something like that. But yeah, at the moment, end of PA is calling me. Yay! Eureka! I found the creek. <laughs> this is Eureka Creek. Uh, I find that funny. I thought Eureka was a word that we only used in Australia. I've never heard it used outside of there. Um, yeah, this is definitely Eureka Creek. That's funny. Maybe their gold people saw it as used it as well. Their gold rush people. <laughs> We've eaten, we finished PA today. Yeah. <laughs> So we're celebrating with pie. Woo! We eat shepherd's pie, apple pie, <laughs> pie, 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 key lime pie. It's all about the pie. So I'm not sure if you'll be able to hear me, but I'm at the Delaware River. Delaware River. Which means I am officially. <laughs> Thank you. 
Pennsylvania with a bullet. I know. Everybody hates Pennsylvania. But you know what? The big boulders, they're actually pretty good. It's the little tiny stones that are horrible and I must admit we've had a lot of them but I mean look at it. It's beautiful. The rivers are amazing. The people are amazing. Some of the trails that are flat were just lovely um, and so I can't possibly put you know West Virginia, Maryland or certainly not North Carolina ahead of me. So, that's where I'm at, or Tennessee. I did think it was close to Tennessee, but no, you win, Penn. You are number three on Skip's countdown of what is the